Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie. Behind the camera today is Danny. Check him out. He's a friend of mine helping me out with filming. His link for his YouTube channel will be in the description. And we are standing here today in an enormous villa in Portugal. This place literally is littered with history and has a beautiful story attached to it. That I'm going to tell you right now in front of this vault over here and the organ next to it. You can film those in detail while I do that. Let me tell you about Emmanuel that lived in this place. Emmanuel was a boy that lived in Portugal, but he had a vision. Younger in life, he wanted to do something, he wanted to do business. And he figured out that if he went to Brazil, Brazil is also a Portuguese speaking country, that he could make a fortune over there selling religious items. So he did that. He, at a very young age, at about 20 years old, he took the plane and went to Brazil and made a fortune over there. After doing that, he came back to Portugal to build this place that we are standing in right now. And he lived here all his life. He got a wife, he got children, and uh, they all lived in this place. Even his daughter, Maria, currently 106 years old, is still alive, living in the town that we're in right now. We're gonna take you today around this wonderful place, show you how Mr. Emmanuel lived in here, together with his family and also show you what's left behind of his life. I'm really excited for this video, so let's do it. I turn things around today. I start in the attic and I go all the way down. Why? I don't know. Just sometimes you have to turn things around. And I always say attics are the places where people store the most valuable things in life. Things that from back in the ages that they didn't use anymore. We're gonna to see today what's left in here in the attic first. First off, well, I see already some amazing shoes left behind. Probably of Mr. Emmanuel. Look at these. And over here was a little working bench where we made some things, figured out some things, probably read some books, looking out through that window over there. And also Danny. It's very unfortunate, such a beautiful house. It's completely deteriorating away. Ceiling over here as well. Very costly to repair. Just so sad. <laughs> the pigeon at the, <laughs> was a pigeon at the window. Here we can see some awards that he got for, I don't know what this game used to be, that the man over here is playing. Wait, I think I know the name. It's Shinkido. It's Shin a Portuguese thing. It's just throwing heavy rocks at bottles. Throwing rocks at bottles? Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. You Portuguese people are weird. This looks like some sort of a camera bag. I'll try to open it up and see what's in there. You think it's a camera bag? Uh, I don't know. Don't know exactly, right? It looks like it. Looks like a camera bag. It's a beautiful bag, actually. But for the most part, this room is not that interesting. So let's head further. And here we can see the deterioration in this place, even more present. The whole ceiling has come out. To these sides, there's nothing. Wow. Watch out, Danny. I almost fell. You almost fell? Watch out in this place. Over here, there's a spiraling staircase that's gonna lead us down in a minute. But first, Let's check out this last room over here on the upstairs floors. And this was a little bit of a workout room for Mr. Emmanuel. His workout machine is still here, as well as the Christmas tree. So unfortunate. Let's go down. Let's stroll down this staircase, this beautiful winding staircase that goes from top to bottom in this place. And this takes us to the bedrooms inside of this place. It's crazy to think that only the small family that Emmanuel had, one child and a wife and himself lived in this place. It's so huge. And over here, we come into the first bedroom of the place. Unfortunately, vandals have got into here. There is some graffiti on the walls. Every time, spray graffiti on walls outside of abandoned places or places where it's legal, not inside of abandoned places. 
Exactly. Exactly right. We've got a beautiful border geese bed over here, carved, crafted, and it's true craftsmanship. I really love it. Wow. You told me that every single item and artwork in this place has been made especially for Mr. Emmanuel. Exactly. That's very true. We're going to see lots of artworks in this place, all especially made for Mr. Emmanuel. He had lots of money and he yeah, just let them create this for him. Again, lots of graffiti on the walls. Very unfortunate as well. This drawer is very unique. Let's see what's in here. The clothes of the people are still left behind. Oh, look, look at this sweater with the teddy bear on there. Oh, this maybe from Maria, his daughter, when she was younger. Or his wife, maybe she liked it. Let's look at this one as well. All the clothes still in there. Got this beautiful chair that matches with the bed, but the bed frame itself. This side of the bedroom, I got first a television to the side, then a little bookcase. And up there we can see one of those first artworks, specially created for Mr. Emmanuel. And even in this bedroom, the decay is present, crumbling the place away. The child seats for some sort of weird reason here to the side. Empty, completely empty. You may go further, my good sir. Thank you. Wow. We come here into some sort of a playing room and a relaxing room with a billiard table in the middle of it. This is where Mr. Emmanuel played games together with his friends. The ball is still left behind, right here on the table. Just have a spin around this room, show the people what, how it looks like and what it is. I really love the ceiling in this place. It's beautiful. Truly magnificent. But again, the game being very present. Oh, the cues for the billiard table are all here. And this wonderful piece of furniture. An antique piece of furniture to hold the cues. Exactly. Then you know that somebody's rich. Check out this Portuguese bench. It's not really a very fancy one, but it's yeah, a kind of nice one. Common one. Common one. And here we have a scoreboard for the billiard table. When you are playing, you could hold the scores and on there. Wow. A bookcase left behind. All these books in there. And up there, the picture of a man and a woman. And those are probably the grandfathers and the grandmother from Mr. Emmanuel. Can I see one thing? Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people know about. No, I don't know what this piece of furniture is. Is this some sort of a relaxing chair, maybe? No, this is a chair that when people are sick, yeah. they use them for to treat them. It's just easier because they are almost laying down. Okay, so uh, a chair for the sick people. I want to want to take a seat and I sit in there. Maybe. Oh yeah. Wow, so the doctor could come and yes, treat the patient? Yes, it's just a handy chair. Okay. You can fold it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I was just looking at this picture and I'm wondering if this was Emmanuel himself. I don't think so. I think it's the grandfather, to be honest. It's the grandfather, okay. We've not seen many memories in this place of the mystery Emmanuel. That's very strange. Little faucet here to wash the billiard balls, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be faucets everywhere in every corner. Yeah. 
or sitting arrangement. Oh, wow. Didn't almost didn't notice it. That's like an amazing rocking chair over here. It's broken, but I really love to see those and do you as well, right? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Here they could sit, read some books. Oh. Watch this. It's like a bodybuilding magazine from 1915 or something like that. No, no, it's not a body, bodybuilding magazine. <laughs> no, but yeah, but it's like a... Little magazine from 1915. Vegetariano. Oh, about vegetarians. 1915. <laughs> Something like that, I think. Yeah. Wow, look at these magazines. I think it's about the, the, the old people. They're really Back cool. The They're really cool magazines. Let's check out one of the dates that's probably on here. We see a date here, 2015. That's not long ago. Wow. Okay. Let's head further inside of the house. Here we come into the hallway of the place. First left? First left. Yes. Again, the ceilings. Just wonderful. Okay. <sighs> Breathe in, breathe out. Wait, wait, wait. First, check out this chair. There's a upholstery chair here to the side. What a wonderful piece. <clears throat> Behind you. Oh, 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 this is a true Portuguese faucet with a sink. Wow, I've never seen such a beautiful piece before. Have a look at the design on it. The crescent that says in there. You can see that Mr. Emmanuel was truly rich. Also the little painting, or oh, what is it? A yeah, it's a painting. Yeah, it's a painting. Above it with the old school really car. Cool. Truly adored. That takes us further into this bedroom. It's a very basic bedroom. Maybe Maria used to sleep in here, as you can see. Oh, that clothes in here. Let's check that out. Hmm, the head and stuff like that. This look indeed. It's a purse or some sort. Oh, no, it's an apron. Oh, what is it? I don't know. It's an apron. No, 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 it's not. No, it's not? Yes, why he has a, a zipper on? I have no clue what this piece of furniture is. <laughs> I don't know either. Hmm. This looks also like a cowboy something. I don't know, this is something missing. Yeah, very strange. Still made bed over there. And the same kind of chair we saw coming back already. This door is very stuck. Okay, I can fit through that. You can fit through that, yeah, I know. You're pretty small, you're not a fat boy. <laughs> They even place the bucket here to catch the water. While wow, it's slowly seeping inside, taking over the place. Oh, I just get shivers from the graffiti. I just ignore it. Yeah, I can't ignore it. I know, it's hard. Yeah, it's very hard. Sorry, yes. Look at the style and design on this bed. It's crazy. And I, know, I don't know if you can see, but there was something in the middle. You think that was like a little painting or coffee here I in the middle? I think so, I don't know. Yeah, that's more it looks big. like a, a frame, you know, a round mm. frame. Yeah, this could be true. Here's a doll from Maria from back in the day. This is what she used to play with. Wow, this looks really old school. These are all the little dolls and the things she had, the toys. hallway itself is also very nice. Now let me now take you onto the balcony. <laughs> it's raining outside, but I still want to go. I want to show you. Come out here. Oh. <laughs> they had the statues over here on the balcony. This one. Wow. 
getting completely wet. And this one to the side as well. And they could overlook their beautiful garden. And maybe you can show the house as well. I'm not gonna show more from the outside because I don't want to reveal the location. But let's go back inside now and show you the rest of the house. <laughs> completely wet right now. <laughs> and the camera probably as well. Not much. We have another room to show you, another bedroom. And these I think might have been guest bedrooms because they didn't need more beds than this. You can see two identical beds on each side with nightstands in between. The bells ringing in the background, warning us that it's eight o'clock and it's time for dinner, but we still have to finish this video. <laughs> Oil, some sort maybe. Holy Nato. oil. Nato. Almond oil. Okay. I think there is one more thing up here. That's probably this side. Yes. Yeah, a little bathroom maybe. I see a little bathroom with some tiles. Yes, the bathrooms of this place are wonderful. Nice. Really small, but uh, again, really beautiful. I really adore this style. Yeah, but it's really strange because if you have such a rich house, yeah, why, why would you, do you have like rich bathrooms? <laughs> you should build big bathrooms in, the, in a big house. I would do it if I bought a place like this. Of course. Crazy how people neglected it. Yeah, of course, Maria is 106 years old. She can't care for the place, but she probably also don't want to sell it because it's like, Yes, from our father, and I completely understand that as well. <sighs> One last staircase that's leading us down. And that's gonna tell us some more stories about this place. See this face, a wonderful face. Wow. Truly Portuguese. On this little stand, very wobbly. <laughs> Can't fall any minute. And then turn around and go down. Thank you. Mm, the chandelier. Yes. Just wonderful. With the light on there. Wow. This truly represents this hallway. And even here, Danny, downstairs, the place is crumbling away. That's just crazy. Let's see what kind of rooms we can find in this downstairs place. Oh. First yes. off, don't show the furniture. First show that ceiling. It's like a globe and everything on the ceiling. These look like pharmacy snakes. You can see that. And then we have the globe up there. Wow. And it looks like we have just wandered into some sort of a conference room. I don't know. Like this big, long table. It doesn't look like a dining table. It doesn't. No. And maybe with the globe as well. Maybe this is where Mr. Imania did his business. I also have lots and lots of books over here. Religious books. This is a book from 1930. Brasileiro. This depicts the lives in Brazil. Wow. Some automotive books as well. Magazines. Yeah. French. French magazines. Oh yeah, Tout la voiture du monde. The, the vehicles of the world, it says. I've learned some French, guys. <laughs> and these are all the vehicles from back in that day. Or that you could buy. Mercedes. Porsche. Wow. Also gotta have a look at the walls in this room. They're designed so meticulously. And this Portuguese bench in front of it. Then this doorway will take us into the next room of this place. Whoa. Oh my God. These were the artworks you were telling me about. Exactly. 
oh, all the paintings and the design on the ceiling are especially made from Mr. Emmanuel. Just look at it. I thought I saw nice ceilings in Italy, but Portugal, you also keep surprising me with your abandoned places. Just wonderful. Look at these girls on the wall, on the walls playing musical instruments. Vanilla flowers on the doors, painted very nicely. And I think there used to be a curtain here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All these curtains. Wonderful. We have this mirror, and even they painted meticulously on this mirror. Just can't stop looking at the design features in this place. <laughs> Look at the harp with the musical notes behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Even the musical notes have been scribed. There's probably a song on the ceiling. Oh, probably. Yeah. Secret song. A little vase on the stand. The little elephant broke his snout. Poor thing. Oh, what a nice cabinet we got over here. I exactly filmed the same one in another abandoned place here in Portugal. I'm gonna link an annotation up here to that, to that video. Exactly the same cabinet. And then downstairs, for some sort of weird reason, we find another bedroom. Why is that? Why are there so many bedrooms in these places? The family was that big. Yeah, but they lived with a very small family in this place. That's crazy. Maybe when people from Brazil came over? I really don't know. I really love the style on this bed. There seems to be a thing, these types of shapes they are very common, you see them a lot. And also Asian pillows. Portuguese houses seem to like Asian pillows. I don't know, I don't have an answer to <laughs> You don't have an answer for me? <laughs> me neither. Right. Huge vanity. Actually, not, not a vanity, no. This is a mirror to look at yourself and your clothing, but it's designed in a very strange way. Because it looks like it has two footrests here at the exactly. bottom. So you could stand on here for maybe stand on here. You try it out. That's I think what you should do. And I don't know what you would do next. I, but I think it's for sitting like the person sitting? sits. Sits? And then Yeah. I don't <laughs> Me neither. It's a very strange piece of furniture. But, but you I... know it's strange on this room? Yeah. Where's the wardrobe? There's no wardrobe. It is. Is it there? Yes, it's just a special room for the wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobe. Because it's that massive. Wow, just the room for the wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. First, let me show you the wardrobe. I just saw something. It seems to be locked. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's locked. Wrong. It has. I, I, I wish I could show you better, but it's so, so, so big. Yes, and it's just massive. Can you go to, to, to next to the wardrobe? Let me show you. I'm like almost 1 meter 80. That's 5 feet 10, I believe. And this wardrobe, yeah, just dwarfs me. <laughs> what a place. I haven't showed you, shown you this sink yet. Completely rusted, but again, like we saw upstairs, beautiful sink with all the design, very meticulously on there. Fake. This seems to be closed. Fake, fake. Oh, they are fake. Is yes. this one real? This that's real. Oh, I'm not gonna open that. One. I'll destroy it. Oh, wonderful, Danny. 
wonderful. And you can get a view of the hallway that we just went through with the chandeliers. This takes us into another dining area, into the dining area. But we saved the best, literally the best, for last. You can show the room, come on. <laughs> Let the people not wait longer for the most amazing room in this place. Then he's, of course, gonna start off with the ceiling because that's just wonderful. It's breathtaking. Breathtaking and beautiful. And all the colors and things in this room match with the heritage of Mr. Emmanuel living and making his fortune in Brazil. We have the dining table over here with this chandelier above it. Just have a look at it. It's probably one of the most beautiful chandeliers that I've ever seen in my Urbex career. <laughs> yes. Eric's career. Let me just see. The sound that it makes when you go past the little glass on there. And all the tables around the, around the dining table over here. I'll show you one of these beautiful chairs. The upholstery on them is just wonderful. The carving as well, especially made for Mr. Emmanuel. We have the fireplace over here with a little castle painted above it, as you can see. Here, the fireplace used to light up the room back in the day. Wow. Unbelievable. The palm trees on the Brazilian beach. You have another depiction of Brazil. I love these faces on these stands. We have now seen a few of these around the place. They're all different from each other. Here, they would always display like plates that they were, would most the door. They would display for the people that came inside of this place to enjoy. And this marble top has unfortunately cracked in two. Look at the design of this cabinet as well. You can see these lion heads all around it. They're wonderful, right? Cloths for the table, blankets. Oh, what do I say? Blankets, towels. <laughs> Let's go further. Oh, these wall paintings, they truly amaze me, Daniel. They truly represent what the man saw in Brazil. Yeah, this was indeed, yes, his vision in Brazil, exactly. what he saw, and then he wanted to bring that home. And he already went over it, but we got yes. the same lion head above here. All the glasses on top of here. I want to look inside of one of these. Yeah, of course, we can see all the plates and cups in here. Oh, that's old. That's old. <laughs> all the dishes that they used when guests came over are still in here. Oh, little sink again. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you told me that there were lots of sinks in this place. Yes. And you were not wrong. We've already seen lots and lots of them more of these paintings on the wall. And then we got one last grand. Should I call it a cabinet or a display cabinet? With all the glasses in there. It's like strolling through a museum over here, right? Exactly. First off, the lion head above there. I'm too small. You're too small. <laughs> Can I lift it up for you? Thank you. Wow. The 
glasses on display here. This is the big key that should open it up, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, but it's open. Here you can get a glimpse of the glasses that are in here. Champagne glasses all around there. Down here in this cabinet as well has these lion heads. And even the floor of this place, I haven't pointed it out yet, is meticulously designed with this pattern going all around the room. Few more paintings up here. Flamingos. Are those flamingos? Exactly, yeah. Yeah? Okay. And then I'm gonna end it off this wonderful upholstery chair here. And this as well represents the lion heads. But the faces of the lions are really deformed in here. You see it? Yeah, I think it's just to fit the chair. Yeah, it's to fit the chair. It's crazy, right? I'm gonna take a seat. And I'm gonna thank you all. Walk there are springs in here. It's actually pretty comfy. I'm gonna thank you all watching this week's video. It was a wonderful exploration around the home of Mr. Emmanuel. If you liked this video, please give it a like, comment down there, what you thought about it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you don't know Danny behind the camera, also check him out. His link will be in the description. Thank you. <sighs> With that all being said, I'm gonna leave you for this week, and we'll see you next week in another epic adventure. Bye bye guys. Love you very much. <laughs>